Warning, the following stunts that occurred in this video can result in serious injuries and even death. Do not repeat what I'm about to tell you in this video. Thank you. What's going on guys, my name is Conan, also known as Ouija, playing with Ouija boards. Today I'm bringing you back another story video on my channel, and if you guys recognize the gameplay, it is from um, my free for all series, the first video where I screwed up on the audio but did kind of good in the gameplay, so that's why I'm using it. PSN's currently down right now, so I kind of can't record any gameplays. I had a really good one lined up, but I just want to record this video, so I'm not going to wait. So this story is about the time where I burned my eyebrows, all my facial hair, and my bangs off with my friends and almost singed my friends to death. Now, before I go any further with the story, do not try this at home. I can't stress that enough. Just do not do it ever, you know, and if you're going to play with fire, you know, I can't stop you. I don't condone it, though. Just make sure you have the right stuff to put it out. Not like I did in this video. So this story takes place when I was 11 going on 12 living in Salmon Arm. And I was living at this trailer park. And my friend next door had had to move because her house had black mold. We'll call her Bree. And she had to move because her house had black mold. So she gave, well, not she, her mom gave me and my buddy we'll call him ty he she gave us the deed to their house to do whatever we want demolish it you know have our way with it so the day after they moved out we're like okay we're gonna have some fun so we started demoing the house we took out of the window so we wouldn't hurt ourselves and as we're rummaging through the house looking for cool things one of us, there was five of us. There was me, Ty, and three others. We'll call them Jesse, Landon, and Austin. Austin found this bottle of butane. And if you guys don't know, butane is pressurized. So we found this bottle of butane and we thought, hey, we're all pyros here. We like playing with fire. Let's, let's set something on fire. So we set a few things on fire in the house, like small little items. Keep in mind, I was like 12 years old, guys. Didn't know any better. Set a few small things on fire. And then we're like, hey, let's go set a soccer ball on fire. So we go outside. We dig this hole that's round, perfectly round, and about the depth of a soccer ball. So about a foot. And we, for some reason, left the shovel in there. We sprayed a whole bunch of butane. We had matches. And we were striking these matches. And... All five of us were sitting around the hole trying to get this hole to light on fire. And we couldn't, after a few minutes, put more butane in. And we were just, each match was a dud, just throwing it in. And then after about five to ten minutes, Ty goes inside and he's like, okay, I'm going to go find a lighter or something. And Austin's like, yeah, I'll go with him. So it's me, Landon, and Jesse that are all sitting outside. We're still trying to get it. And finally, right as Ty and Austin come out, I get a match to strike right after I had sprayed butane in there. If you guys don't know, the longer you let it sit, the more it rises. I know it's a heavy gas, but it still rises and it gets everywhere in the air because it was a little bit breezy. So, And there was a lot in there. So finally, one of us got it and we had like this six foot fireball that come up in our face, all three of us it blew us back on our back you know i had we all had glasses on that protected our face you know and we just blew it back and like we could smell burning hair and, oh, my buddy austin and ty are just fucking pissing their pants laughing you know after a few minutes they're like are you guys okay in this blah 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 and we were okay but <laughs> austin comes up to his little brother landon and is like yo your eyebrows are gone he starts laughing he's like what and landon starts feeling his eyebrows and yeah sure shit they're gone I looked at Jesse, I'm like, dude, so are yours. And he's like, same with you. So, you know, being that age where we're hitting puberty, we're getting facial hair. So we had a little bit of facial hair and it was all gone. And same with part of our bangs, guys, and our eyebrows just gone because of this fireball. So we're like, okay, so we threw it over the fence, got rid of it. So, and this was like dusk when this happened. So there was a massive fireball. And even though there was like a fence in the way, our neighbors still saw it through their front window. So it was like, it was a massive fireball, guys. Like I can only explain how it is, but you literally had to be there to see how big it was. It was like, 
I was like five foot something back then. I'm six four now. It was like someone threw a fire. Like it was like someone stood on top of me. I am six four, above me, just straight flames. He was probably three or four feet wide. It was just huge. I do, don't ask me how we didn't get seriously injured. We just got lucky. And so the next day, you know, we're sitting playing in this old shed that's next. And my buddy and Ty gets this bright idea. And he's like, Connor, light the couch on fire. And I'm thinking, sure, why the fuck not? So I pour a little bit of like gasoline that was in this jug that was in there. And not thinking this couch is old as shit and dry as fuck that it's going to catch flame so easy. And it had a little bit of gas. A little bit of gas on it. Took it so fast. And kind of funny because I'm using the purifier here. But it went up in flames the whole couch. And like all my other buddies are in the rafters here of this fucking house. So it just starts engulfing the whole entire like shed. I'm like, fuck. And they're like, dude, put it out, put it out, put it out. So I grabbed this pail of oil and I missed. Instead of pulling it open, my hand slipped around the side and I pulled the uh, handle. Now the handle actually went up and cut the side of my thumb, like where the cuticle is, where the nail meets the skin and tore it all the way up to the digit. My finger was bleeding. I'm like, guys, you're fucked. Get out of there. So they had to break out of this like second story shed which is like 10 feet above the ground and jump while this whole fucking thing went up in flames and I shit you not like it's in the movies when someone jumps from something and just the flames come out and come out from where they jumped that's what happened Jesse was the last one out and the flames licked his back as he jumped up and the whole thing went up in flames fire department got called it was just this this huge bad mess the whole thing went up they had to be demoed like we took off being you know 12 years old we said it was some homeless guy you know but in rea- when that in reality it was actually us so i know it's not a funny story but it's an educational story of why not to play with fire you know because one you can get seriously injured and scarred for the rest of your life or you could lose your life in general us five got very lucky and had a guardian angel on our shoulder that day to not get seriously injured besides losing facial hair and eyebrows and hair very very lucky it was very stupid of us you know i no longer play with fire anymore but it it made me really think about life and what i could have done and where i could have been i seriously could not only hurt myself but hurt and i did put my friends in danger because of that it was very stupid of me and i still think about it to this day fucking it's seven eight years later and it's not something that want fire is not something to be played with guys it's not a toy it can seriously hurt yourself other people and all that just all i ask is please don't play with it and if you do you know i kind of can't stop you from playing with it but make sure you take the right precautions to putting it out and just don't leave it and that goes like if you guys are smoking cigarettes just don't throw your cigarettes in the ground because that can start fires as well Make sure you put it out and put the butt in the trash can. It's close. Even if you have to hold on to it till then, just do that, please. You know, I don't want to see any of my fucking subscribers get hurt because of this shit. And that's why I put a warning video at the front. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. My last video got good good rating. So if we can break 10 likes again, I'll make another video. So this has been Ouija, and have a good day. Twitter will be down in the description below. Bye.